Earlier this month, Barry College students competed in 24 Hours of Lemons, a nationwide series of endurance races for cars costing $500 or less. Creative technology students and others chose a beat-up old van to repair and modify for the race. Sophomore Jacob Ramsey shares a speed bump they hit leading up to the race. Well, we came there without a roll cage in. It was built, but it wasn't on the frame. And we were going to go into the race thinking, oh, we're just going to learn from this and not not pass and not get on the track and just enjoy the weekend and watch it. John Oschenbach, who worked in the pit crew with Jacob, was especially proud of the team's vehicle. The most unique thing is just the fact that we were racing a, an 85 Chevy Astro, a stock Chevy Astro, from Barry College for $250. Oschenbach is an avid member of Hackberry R&D, Barry's resident creative technologies club, which represented the school at the race in Birmingham. Aschenbach talks about the club. It's a spot that everybody sort of comes to with ideas and they can present them in a club. Dr. John Grout, Dean of the Campbell School of Business, has been instrumental in establishing the Creative Technologies curriculum at Barry and teaches a few of the courses himself. It is a major about tinkering, inventing things, and uh, it brings with it all of the problems that tinkering and inventing have. And within that context, we're learning how to be creative, uh, think critically, and solve problems. The number of creative technology students at Barry continues to grow. One of them, Jerome Payne, tells why he enjoys the hands-on major. My favorite thing is just being able to take each individual thing like the 3D printer and the vinyl cutter and the laser cutter and being able to end coding and being able to make one big project. Creative Technologies and Hackberry R&D is open to anyone. The classes are filled by students studying many different things and the club welcomes anyone who wants to get their hands dirty or is simply curious about making things. If you just want to see what Hackberry is all about, just come by. The door's always open. There's always someone in here. For more information, visit hackberrylab.com or check out the hackathon open to all this Friday in McAllister 128. With Viking Fusion News, I'm Brad Tolka.